Larry Willis, a great pianist, told me once, if you take care of the music, it will take care of you. And if you're true to it, you're going to get your, what you need. You just have to put all it. You can't just put a little bit. You got to put it all in there. Listen, any young aspiring musicians out there, if music is what you want to do, if music is what you love and your passion, it doesn't take a fragrance. It's not about the tabloids. It's about you putting in the work, practicing every day, practicing your vocals, practicing your instrument, pra practicing songwriting. And hopefully one day you write the song, you know, the whole world wants to get down to. Honestly, if you're good at what you do, people will recognize that. I really believe it. I really believe that going out and playing good songs live as a great live band will make you successful. I really think it will, and it doesn't matter if you're at the shithole down the street or you're on the side stage at Bonnaroo or you're headlining Lollapalooza. If you're a great band with great songs, people will notice it. That's it. That's all it is. It's fucking, it's that simple. Fuck product placement and fucking labels and A&R people and all that bullshit. It doesn't fucking matter. I swear to God. It doesn't matter. And if you back that up with the idea that just playing those great songs in your great live band is enough reward for you, then you're fucking set. But you've got to be badass. You just have to be really good. It's the other things that make up for your musical inability. That's what it takes. You don't have to stand in line at the song contest on TV to become a fucking popular musician. You know, to stand in front of some judge that doesn't even fucking play an instrument on their own goddamn record. Tell you, no, you're not gonna know. Right. Fuck that. You know, go blow people away in front, in their face. And so it's kind of, you know, it's, it's, I honestly believe it's that simple. I just knew that if you put me on stage without a fucking PA or floor monitors in a small club, that I would beat the fucking shit out of my drums so much that people would go, God damn, did you see that fucking drummer? Whoa. And I'd walk away from every show like, there you go. I just beat the fucking piss out of those things and people saw it. And I think that that should go for pretty much every part of the process. You know? Well, it's easy for you to say. I'm like, man, I was in the same fucking position you are in 24 years ago. That was it. I worked in a fucking furniture warehouse and I wanted people to like my music, so I played out as much as I could, you know? And if you really, honestly, I, like I said, if you're passionate and driven and focused in what you do, if you're really fucking good at it, people will take notice.